Broadcasters in the U.S. and Canada continue to adopt the IBOC method of transmitting digital radio and analog radio broadcast signals on the same channel. However, AM IBOC in the United States still faces some serious technological challenges, including nighttime interference with other stations. Broadcast engineers need professional tools to confirm the performance of IBOC transmitters for both AM and FM in accordance with the National Radio Systems Committee Measurement Recommendation, NRSC G201. This video demonstrates how to make the measurements you need to prove compliance with the G201 standard. Here is how to do the measurement for AM IBOC. First, set the desired center frequency. Then, set a span of 200 kilohertz. Set RBW to 300 hertz. Set VBW to 30 kilohertz or greater. Set trace averaging to 100 on trace A. Select the Amplitude menu. Set Detection Type to RMS. Set the Reference Level to place the signal one graticule line below the top of the display. Select or create a limit line that meets the Ibiquity Digital Corporation standards. Move the limit line to place it at the peak of the AM carrier. Place the peak of the limit line on the peak of the carrier. Wait until 100 traces have been averaged. This typically takes less than one minute with Enritsu's MS2721B Spectrum Master. You will want to make sure all points that exceed the mask can be explained. And finally, save your measurement with a meaningful name. Recall your measurement to be sure it was stored properly. Measuring FM IBOC is largely the same as the AM measurement. The primary differences are how the peak of the carrier is determined and the RBW value. Preset the instrument. Begin by setting the desired center frequency. Then set the span to 2 MHz. At this point, turn on the appropriate limit line. Measure the peak of the carrier by setting the RBW to a value about 300 kHz and the VBW to 1 kHz. This should yield a very wide peak. Select detector to RMS. Set trace A to average. Set number of averages to 100. Move the center of the limit line to the peak of the carrier. The limit line is now at the proper frequency and amplitude for measurements. Adjust the reference level to place the peak of the signal at the second line down from the top. Set the instrument to 1 kHz RBW and 100 kHz VBW. The precise VBW value isn't critical as long as it is much wider than the RBW. Wait for 100 traces to be averaged. Notice that the IBOX sidebands are down a little bit. This is sometimes necessary for the station to meet FCC Rules Part 73, Paragraph 317, Mask Requirements. And finally, save your measurement with a meaningful name, such as 
WXXX underscore 101.9 underscore 2011. That completes the FM IBOC measurement. When measuring the test port on a transmitter, usually an input attenuator is needed. The one we're using is a 30 dB 50 watt attenuator. Selecting the proper device is critical and Ritsu spectrum analyzers meet all of the following requirements for making IBOC measurements. First, the dynamic range of the instrument must be greater than 95 dB to be sure an 85 dB measurement can be made. Second, the ability to quickly average 100 traces, oftentimes in less than 30 seconds. Third, the ability to create and use a complex limit line to visually show compliance with the emission mask. And fourth, the ability to use 300 Hz and 1 kHz resolution bandwidth, along with the ability to independently set the video bandwidth to a value at least 10 times greater than the resolution bandwidth. The Enritsu MS2721B is certified to fulfill these requirements. Call for a demo or see our website today. Enritsu, the equipment you trust for broadcast proofing measurements.